Rob Yarmo cycles 100 kilometers every week, all the while breathing in great lungfuls of Hamilton air. I moved into the area about four years ago, and I noticed that uh, both my wife and myself, our, our breathing is not as free and clear. Air quality issues are nothing new in the Steel City, but a new study found unhealthy levels of one carcinogen in particular, benzoapyrene, common in steel plant emissions. So just up where that yellow thing is? Yeah, right? just right These flying saucer-shaped air monitors were set up across the city to measure pollution. The carcinogen was expected to show up in industrial areas, not the entire city. It just really surprised me at the extent. It's really affecting every urban dweller in Hamilton. The big concern, how those elevated levels add up over time. The amount of benzoapyrene that someone living in the worst areas is breathing in would be about the equivalent of smoking a cigarette a day. It's bringing renewed scrutiny on the practice of granting companies like steel giant or seller Mittal DeFasco emissions exemptions from Ontario's air quality rules. The province needs to ensure that, it, that the air regulatory framework is effective. Including, she says, regular inspections for compliance. The Premier says the province is already trying to help the industry move away from benzoepyrene emitting coal furnaces. We're putting hundreds of millions of dollars to get electric arc furnaces, not only uh, here in Hamilton, but up in Algoma. That's like taking two million cars off the road. But for some who live here, it's still unsettling knowing what is lingering in the air. I am concerned about it uh, long term. There's a thought uh, that, that we, we're going through right now that we might move in a year or two. And perhaps breathe a little easier elsewhere. Katie Nicholson, CBC News, Hamilton.